in Takloban, the misery is beyond meaning. This is your home. The first, the first, she says, our house was one of the first to come down. Juvelin Taniega sought shelter from the storm surge in this bus with her husband and six children. She survived. They were swept away. And has anyone come to help you? I really want to see them, she says, even if it's just their bodies. She has found the body of her husband and shows us the bodies of three of her children. She's covered the kids as best she can. Now she searches for her three other children. She doesn't believe they survived the storm. Where will you sleep tonight? Yeah, in the street. Anywhere. I don't know where I go. In Takloban, there isn't any place to go. Juanito Martinez is living in a makeshift shelter. His wife Gina and daughter are covered with sacks nearby. I really want someone to collect their bodies, he says. I want to know where they're taken so then I can light a candle for them. Juanito cooks some rice and noodles for his neighbors. One of the men tells us he wants to call his mother in Manila. He's desperate to tell her that he and his daughter survived, though his wife and two other children are dead. We dial her number on our satellite phone. Ma, she did so much. They're gone. They're all gone, he says. Ma, ma. I don't know why this happened to me. You won't find answers here in Takloban. You'll only find loss. You'll only find misery. With so little help, that is just not going away.